Granada isn't just some city in southern Spain. Oh, no, no, no. It's a representation of the country's rich history resulting from the heavy influence of its Muslim and Christian past. The culture in Granada has been shaped by more than 2,000 years of victories, defeats, and everything in between. So, if you're traveling through Spain, put Granada at the top of your list and check out our 10 best places to go see. Alhambra A trip to Granada isn't complete without visiting the Alhambra. This fortress palace dates back to the 9th century, but the building we know today was primarily constructed by the Islamic Nasri dynasty. Today, it takes up around 26 acres of land, consisting of 30 towers, over a mile of walls, palaces, and gardens. Let's check out each attraction within the Alhambra so that you don't miss out on anything. Nasrid Palaces The Nasrid Palaces, built by the Nasrid dynasty, are made up of three separate areas. The Mexuar, a semi-public area for administration affairs, Comares Palaces, where the king and his family lived, and the Palace of Lions, a private area for the family. Visitors can explore each section and learn the fascinating details of their creation. Palace of Charles V When Charles V ruled Spain in the 16th century, the Nasrid palaces didn't match all of his needs. He required something for a true emperor and had part of the Alhambra demolished to make space for his palace designed in a Renaissance style. Due to the death of the first architect, revolts, and funding issues, Charles V never had the chance to call his palace home. It took 400 years for the building to be officially finished, with the addition of the roof in 1957. Alcazaba The Alcazaba was the complex's military post, and the residence of guards, commanders, and their families. From the post, signals could be transmitted to the watchtowers, and it's ultimately where plans would be organized in the case of an attack. Generalife Walk through the gorgeous Generalife garden where Muslim royalty went to kick back and relax. The Christians greatly modified its original layout. In the garden, you'll have a stunning view of the city and the surrounding nature. Granada Cathedral When the Christians gained control over the city, the Granada Cathedral was built on the site of the Great Mosque in 1523. Its painstaking details and unique design made it an innovative architectural project for its time. Make sure to visit the cupola, the domed section, where you'll see just how remarkable the cathedral is. The Royal Chapel of Granada The Royal Chapel of Granada was the brainchild of Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand, who decided the city would be their final resting place. They both died before its completion, and Charles V had their bodies transported there in 1521. Today, you can see their tombs, gawk at the magnificent altarpiece, and tour the Sacristy Museum, which consists of paintings, wardrobes, and other artifacts. Basilica de San Juan de Dios As its name suggests, the basilica was built in 1737 to host the remains of St. John. You can explore each room and experience one of Granada's most prized 18th century buildings. Keep in mind that the Basilica is closed on Sundays and that there's a small fee to enter. The Monastery of St. Jerome The Monastery of St. Jerome was the first monastery the Christians built after conquering Granada. Since its completion, it's gone through a number of changes and it was even used as a military garrison at one point in time. When you tour the building, take time to consider that it was nearly demolished due to neglect before finally being restored into a pristine condition. Before we continue, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, now let's continue. Carrera del Daro Take a stroll along Carrera del Daro the street that goes along the Daro River. It's considered to be one of the city's most beautiful walks. You'll pass historic buildings, cross 17th century bridges, and have views of the Alhambra. It's a wonderful way to get a taste of everything Granada has to offer. Sacromonte 
On the Valparaiso Hill, the neighborhood of Sacromonte is where the 15th century Spanish gypsies settled. You can still find their cave houses within the landscape. Sacromonte is also a hub for flamenco dancing. Make sure to see a show at night for an authentic Andalusian experience. Albaicin Albaicin is Granada's old Moorish quarter, and walking the narrow streets will feel like you've been transported to a different city. It's an excellent way to get a glimpse of the city's Muslim influence. Here are a few recommendations of places to visit in Albaicin. Mirador de San Nicolas If you've googled Granada, you've probably seen pictures of the famous viewpoint from the church of San Nicolas. From the church, you'll have a perfect lookout to gaze at the Alhambra and the gorgeous Generalife Garden. Have your camera ready, because this spot is Instagram-worthy. El Banuelo – Arab Baths Visit the 11th century Arab Baths for a look into the past. It was declared a national monument in 1918. You can access El Banuelo along the Daro River directly across from Puente del Cadi. Unfortunately, bathing is not allowed, so leave your swimsuit at home. Parque de las Ciencias Head on over to Parque de las Ciencias, the science park, for an epic day spent at the Interactive Museum. The space is split into multiple sections, where you can learn about the human body, planets, butterflies, mummies, and so much more. It's a wonderful activity for anyone traveling with youngsters. Cartuja Monastery Just north of the city is the Cartuja Monastery. It was built in the early 16th century and the home to Carthusian monks until the 19th century. As you walk throughout the property and within the buildings, you'll see the evolution of the monastery that took place for three centuries. Sign up for a guided tour to ensure you get the full-on experience. And that's all for today's video. What's your favorite thing about Granada? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching.